Hi guys, this is I'm Stuck, and today we're looking at electrical circuits and their symbols and the functions of these components. So first of all, we're going to look at a cell. Now a cell is in nearly every single circuit and it pushes the electrons around a complete circuit. Now a battery is a, a is also contains of uh, two or more cells and that's, again, a battery is used in a torch, for example, you would have a cell. Then another very important one, especially when you think of turning a light on, is the switch. Now this enables the current in a circuit to be turned on or off. And as you can see, the pictures are going up on your screen. Then a diode is it allows current through one direction only, which it means it is only direct current because it's only going one direction, it can't alternate, and we'll talk about that in another video. A light emitting diode, which is also known as an LED, and that emits light when a current passes through it. So when the current passes through it, it acts like a light bulb and it emits light. Then an ammeter is used to measure electrical current. So this is um, a constant use, and this is um, in series with the is constantly in series in the circuit, and we'll talk about uh, in series and in parallel in another video. Then a resistor, and that limits the, uh, the amount of current in a um, circuit, and that's the one without an arrow through, and the one with an arrow through is a variable resistor, and that allows the current to be varied. Then we'll, there is a fuse, and this mounts if a current of in a circuit gets too hot, and again this will be another one that I'll go into more detail in another video, but it's quite important, a, a fuses and circuit breakers. Then finally, a voltmeter uh, measures the potential difference, and that's the potential for difference is the voltage. And this is always connected in parallel. And again, I will talk all about that in another video. So make sure if you want to know all the symbols, make sure you look back through this video and look for the symbols because you have to know all the symbols and also their functions so you can design your own electrical circuit and an exam if they ask you for these, uh, these symbols or the functions, you will know them. So thank you very much for watching this video. Can you please watch other videos which will be coming up about series and parallel circuits and we'll do a bit about circuits at the moment on this channel as well as all the other videos. But for now, can you visit my website and please subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye.